a lot of people are pumping water in ponds and uh, they want to use solar to do it and uh, well who knew nature needed this much technology uh, the way to do it is with a linear current booster if you check on eBay you'll see these go from 150 to 300 dollars uh, why they call it a linear current booster well that's just so the man wants to stick it to you and uh, what they do is they actually do boost current but you can make one yourself for only about ten dollars you can use any kind of standard uh, buck converter and then what you do is you modify that slightly with this little circuit over here it only takes a few parts well, let's just see how it works. So you can see this is the power meter. We're only using <laughs> 25 milliwatts here. Uh, this is a 90 volt motor. It's turned slow so you can see it. If you look at the current, it's a, you know, 0.29 amps. And if we uh, stop it, you see it almost goes up to 90. So you get a three times current boost. But if you look at the voltage, we're still maintaining all that voltage we want to keep on the panel. You don't want your panel to drop below power point and uh, you can use a fixed power point uh, just as well as any MPPT. Uh, you can adjust it seasonally but uh, it doesn't vary that much and it keeps the the motor from bogging down. Uh, what you really want is a lot of current that you can supply the motor you know initially off and this circuit will give you more pumping during the day. So let's just look at that again. We're at 30 milliamps. This goes up to almost 90 when we stall it. The voltage doesn't drop that much. And uh, this is your simple, you know, you can get these for five hours, these buck converters and then a couple bucks more for more parts. So let's look at the circuit. Move this stuff out of here. We're using a TL431 for the voltage sense. Uh, this turns on when it's about 2.5 volts. It's very close to that depending upon the precision that you buy these at. Uh, we do have a little pot here to adjust. We have a fixed resistor to get it within range. Uh, this will adjust up on this circuit here from about 15 to uh, 20 volts. So here's your normal solar panel. You want to keep that at like about 17 and a half volts to 18 and a half volts for uh, any standard 12 volt panel. So this just, uh, there's a resistor here. This acts as a pull up. Any of these uh, buck converters uh, have a very simple voltage adjustment. They have a variable resistor, you know, something that looks like this, little blue thing. And what you need to do is go in with an ohmmeter from the common to the resistor points. So the resistor looks like this. One of these three terminals will have the lowest resistance. Uh, often two of them will be uh, soldered together, so don't be surprised if you have two terminals. And what you want to do is measure, there's three pins, uh, measure the resistance to your common, and the one with the lowest resistance is the one you want to attach a little wire to. So that little wire comes over to here. Now, in an over voltage condition, uh, and over voltage is defined as over 17 and a half volts, you know, what you want to set your panel at, this will conduct and pull down this resistor. Now, this voltage, if you go to measure it, is only about 1.2 volts typically. And anytime that it sees a higher voltage, it's telling the, the uh, regulator IC to uh, shut down. You know, it's too much voltage on the output. So we're just faking it. Uh, we use an LED here. Uh, we're using it basically just as a zener. We want to have basically the equivalent of a 3 volt voltage drop here. 
this will drop down to uh, 1.8 or 2 volts. That's about the lowest voltage you can get. So you need some kind of standoff. You want this to go up above 3 volts before this starts conducting and turning this off. So that's the little circuit. And remember, you can use any old buck converter for this as long as it's appropriate voltage or and current. Now, this is with a 12 volt panel. Uh, I'm not really fond of those. You can adjust this up for 24 volts if you want. But you know the cheapest things now are, are grid tie panels. And you can get the 60 cell or uh, 72 cells. And this is my favorite little converter. Uh, this is already set to 12 volts out. And uh, it's very easy to go in here with a little modification. Uh, I have this in the other videos. And this whole space over here is empty. So you can drill a hole, put a little LED in there, and uh, you have a nice clean looking box. Like I say, these are only like five bucks. These are rated for, you know, a good, 50, a good you know, eight amps. You know, they say 15 amps. Uh, I say anything the Chinese say is it's half of that. So, but I mean, I have over a dozen of these that I use. I love them. So, uh, a grid tie panel. You can get a 280 watt for 170 dollars without even trying. If you try and get a 100 watt panel, you're going to be paying 140 dollars. So, have the extra power. Have it running throughout the day. Uh, I mean, that's what you're really wanting to do. You want to aerate the pond or circulate the water. Now, a lot of people, you know, you've been taught, take this thing, uh, take the solar panel, face it due south. Forget about that. Uh, what you want is, is if you have enough power in your panel and you're not using batteries, you want an even power during the day. You don't want to have this you know, two hours at noontime where you have a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, current potential that you can drive your motor. You want it to start in the morning and end late in the day. And if you put your panels kind of flat, what happens is it runs bad all the time. But you have power to waste, and what you want is this thing starting up uh, at 8 o'clock in the morning and going till uh, sunset and having the panel down flat. Every angle that the, the sun hits it at is a bad angle, but you'll get that throughout the day if you have enough wattage. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter. You know, if, you, if you're doing a, a 20, 30, 40 watt pump and you have 280 watts, you know, it doesn't really matter. But, you know, this will work through clouds, everything, if you have more power. So, that's my suggestion for the day. Uh, check out my other videos. Remember, any buck converter, this can be done. It's a quick and simple approach. Thanks for watching.